Echo for the world. Word to link. Our planet is calling out for help. And companies are answering with environmental and sustainable development. DHL, the world's largest logistics company, is mobilizing to reduce its carbon footprint. Global warming. And its devastating effects on our environment. The levels of CO2 emissions that are spewed out from our cars, trucks and airplanes have sent millions of tons of pollution into the very air that we breathe. Pollution that's literally choking us and every living thing on this planet. Global logistics companies deliver packages that are mostly transported with vehicles that use fossil fuels. Some companies, though, have re-examined the impact their business has had on the environment and are making changes. One of the Millennium Goals is, of course, uh, to protect the environment. And by doing this, uh, we try to make sure that at least we reduce the negative impact of our business on the environment. First of all, we improve our efficiency, primarily our network efficiency. For instance, increasing the loading factors, optimizing route planning in order to make sure that we reduce uh, the number of uh, deliveries. By redesigning the delivery route so that one truck can travel through more neighborhoods and towns, you can fill that truck with a larger number of packages. By doing this, you use less trucks, which means using less fossil fuel to power them. DHL has developed a product called the Green Parcel. The Green Parcel is a climate-neutral delivery system that tracks and calculates the total amount of delivery emissions that are produced and then offsets those emissions by giving out carbon credits. By doing this, they're offsetting CO2. Optimizing route planning in order to make sure that we reduce uh, the number of uh, deliveries then we are training our drivers. They're also using a new fleet of CNG natural gas vehicles that also reduce emissions. And they're involved in reforestation projects in places like Bhutan. But one of the most interesting and seemingly unrelated initiatives going on is happening below sea level. Global climate change in the form of increased wind changes, moisture changes and erratic high-pressure zone movements affect both above-ground and below-ground environments. DHL takes a holistic approach to help repair damaged environments. Coral is an amazing sea creature that has such a specific checklist of environmental needs, it's incredible that it even manages to survive at all. In Tioman, Malaysia, the coral reefs experience some of those very same problems of survival. Tioman is a popular place for diving, snorkeling and surfing. As the area developed, the coral began to disappear. The waters of Tioman needed help. In a 24-hour coral restoration marathon, this team of people placed 50 artificial coral beds on the bottom of the ocean. The artificial units will act as a breeding ground for new coral, which will host a variety of marine plants and marine life that can only be seen here at Tioman Island. Teams were sent in to survey the area, deploy the artificial reefs, transplant the coral fragments, and then monitor the progress with follow-up visits. The Tioman project is just one example of what a local detailed approach can do. This type of assistance is becoming more and more important to the endangered ecosystem of our world. Environmental concerns are the future business of everyone. <laughs>